First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Robbins. We're tracking a beautiful sunset tonight, and the one thing you'll notice, the winds are really picking up, and that will be the story this week, in fact, getting even stronger Wednesday into Thursday, but a beautiful live shot there as we say goodbye to the sun. 80 degrees right now, east-northeast winds at 16 miles per hour. Jump over to Maui, stronger winds, reporting rain right now in Hilo, and seeing south winds there, jumping over the Garden Isle, makes the sun and clouds and northeast winds at 16 miles per hour. The driving force behind our weather will be this area of high pressure. It's going to expand and get stronger and intensify within the next 48 hours. As it does, we're facing very gusty trade winds. Likely wind alerts will be up, so wanted to give you a first alert heads up. Not a whole lot of rain out there. As we take a closer look, a small craft advisory is up for now, at least for the eastern end of the state. This is going to expand towards the west by the end of the week. We'll likely be seeing very gusty trade winds as early as Thursday into Friday. Friday, lasting through Saturday morning and notice the reds on the map. The first alert wind future cast shows you more reds will be spreading across the state. One o'clock in the morning on Wednesday. That's when that small craft advisory will likely be expanding a little more towards the west and more so during the afternoon hours through the evening hours. So lots of reds there. It's going to be very choppy over the waters. On top of that, we're talking about a rising swell in the country. Eight to 12, six to eight on west facing shores. Town Sitting at 1 to 3 and 4 to 6 on the east facing shores. The spread tomorrow, 75 to 82 degrees. Notice a few passing windward and Malka showers. Northeast winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. We'll stay in the 70s, maybe the upper 70s in Hilo. Jump over to the other side to Kona, a little bit warmer. And notice the 70s and 80s for the rest of us. As we step on through the next seven days in Hawaii, we're talking about gusty trade winds, especially Thursday, Friday into Saturday. All right, thank you, Jim. The state high school boys basketball tournament is this week. Kyle Chenen takes us to Eva Beach, where a public school is in the hunt for a title. Fresh off the heels of their first OIA title in program history, the Campbell Sabres enter the big dance as the lone public school with the first round bye. The Sabres hoping to cap off their turnaround season with a co-ahead trophy. The Sabres got the first round by after their thrilling overtime win over Mililani for the OA title. Revenge for their lone league loss to the Trojans earlier in the season. It's overwhelming every day. Somebody new is texting and 